What started as a group of UIC student athletes getting together to feed the homeless has now turned into so much more. Joining us with all the details are founder and president of Spark, students performing acts of random kindness, Mitch Granger, and co-founder and vice president, Max Cedarcall. Welcome to Community Connection. Thank you for having us. So you gentlemen are juniors in college, and five months ago, in November of 2014, you were inspired to create this Spark. How did it happen? Right, well, uh, Spark, Students Performing Acts of Random Kindness, started in late November. It really uh, had some modest beginnings. We formed out of conversations that uh, myself and Max were having with our teammates and other uh, student athletes at UIC, and we all decided that we needed to do something to give back to Chicago. And right around that time is when we had been making trips into the city, and we were seeing a lot of homeless people on the streets. And we decided then and there that Spark's number one mission was going to be to feed the homeless. And uh, we did our first mission in late November. We had 10 volunteers, fed 15 people, uh, and since then it has grown uh, bigger and better than anything we could have imagined. So where did you start? How did you start by feeding those 15? What was your plan? We got together, and as simple as it sounds, we, we made sandwiches. We, we threw together what we had in, in our uh, pantries and went out to local area uh, right outside the UIC campus, and there was a lot of homeless people in need of food. And we handed out this food to these people, and the response we got back from them was astonishing. We turned to each other and we said, we can do this on a weekly basis. We can not only feed 15 people, but we can do this daily uh, in the city, and we can feed up to 50 people a week who, who had otherwise gone hungry without us. Now, you are an international student, Max. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was what was your thought when you heard about Mitch's mission? I I thought it was a really good idea right off the bat. Uh, he approached me and said, Max, I have this idea. Uh, I want you in on it. And I just was amazed by the initiative, and I really liked the idea. So I just hopped on board. Now, you have raised over $4,000 and fed. You just hit, you said, your mark of 400 mm -hmm. people that you have fed. That's right. How has this snowballed? Really, I don't think Max and I could have ever thought it would be it would it would be uh, this advanced this quickly. Um, I can't say enough about our donors. Everybody has been so supportive of our cause. Uh, just in February, we started a, a GoFundMe page, and since then, we have surpassed four thousand dollars in donations. With this money, we've been allowed to feed four hundred people uh, since the end of November. In addition to that, we also um, conducted a UIC coat drive that. Uh, uh, clothed 105 people and since then we've also um, had some donations such as uh, uh, dress shirts that we've been giving out to the homeless so we've really clothed over 150 people as well um, but it's like you said it's it's snowballed the community is jumping on board with us we had Connie's Pizza donate uh, materials to us for our missions we're having Quiznos UIC which is in uh, University Village they're gonna jump on board with us and then we also have local businesses who, who want to lend a helping hand and want to feed the homeless. So what role has social media played in getting your message out? I think it's been, so far, it's been our, our number one catalyst. Um, I agree. Right away, we, 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 right now we're up to about 400 uh, followers on, um, on Facebook, and we, Max does a, a tremendous job of doing these viral videos. We right away made a video of our fir first mission. We wanted people to see not only the reaction on these people's faces, but they, we wanted them. We wanted to show them how easy it is to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is very simple. We're making, uh, you know, bag lunches, and we're giving to people who are going to go hungry. And Max, he filmed that and put it into a wonderful video. And since then, thousands of people have seen that, and they and they want to join the cause because of that. And so, if somebody were watching, how would you encourage them to get involved? I think. Um, People, every, all of us hold something within ourselves that we want to do something for the community. We want to give back to the world in some way. And I think I speak on behalf of Max and myself. We didn't know how to at first. I think all of us have these grand visions of changing the world. We just don't know exactly how to do it. Um, but really, the simplest way of changing the world is, is, in our opinion, just changing somebody's life that day. So we make it our mission every day when we go out and feed these homeless people we want to brighten their day, and hopefully, if we're lucky enough, it will brighten their life. Well, let's talk real quickly about that one special person, um, the rally for Raymond, and how he kind of motivated you. 
Raymond Ferguson is a, is a homeless gentleman we met on our second mission. Um, and how I describe him to everybody is he's the man that never loses his smile. Mm -hmm. Despite his circumstances right now, he, he lives on the streets. He, he maintains this bright smile, and we see it every time we go on these missions. We've really decided that as a group we want to help him specifically just because we've been so touched by how he's affected our lives. Um, and that's what spawned the uh, fundraiser in March. We did a, a rally for Raymond fundraiser in Lake Forest. Uh, I called upon this, uh, some of the city's best platform tennis players, which is a variation of tennis. And they came rallying to my cause. We raised $1,400. And right now we're looking at getting Raymond um, off the streets, getting him into a house, getting him a, a job. And, and we're, we're, we can't say for sure, but we're very close to, to accomplishing that feat. So you are making a difference one person at a time. Exactly. That's what we're trying to do. And you're in the process of uh, becoming a 501c3 not-for-profit. So we're going to send people to GoFundMe.com slash SparkUIC. And then also your Facebook page is SparkUIC, too. And what an inspiration you guys are to have identified a problem mm -hmm. and done something about it and become part of the solution. Thank you. And what we've noticed, too, is, is um, once, this, once this message has got out to other students at UIC, all it, all it took was a little nudge, and now everybody wants to help us out. And we're really thankful for the amount of members we have in our organization now, which is close to exceeding 60, that we mail on an uh, on a, uh, email on a weekly basis to come help us. Well, we will be eager to see what, what more Spark will do in the years to come. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.